and welcome to Christian Biographies. Our mission here is to create informative and accessible biographies on the lives of Christians who have affected the way Christianity has been understood over the past 2,000 years. With over 2 billion Christians on earth today, in thousands of different denominations and sects, the definition of Christianity can mean different things to many different people. We are not seeking to present one specific doctrine or one correct denomination. Rather, we seek to introduce you to people who have helped to create what many will call Christianity today. With that being said, over the last 2,000 years, a lot has happened. Because of that, we are breaking up our biographies into four groups. The first being the early church, which covers 0 to 500 CE. The medieval church, which covers 500 to 1500 CE. The Reformation Movement through the Restoration Movement, which covers 1500 through 1900, and Modernity through the Present, which covers 1900s through present time. But we will dive into that more in just a second. It's important to make note because there have been so many different approaches to defining the belief system of Christianity. There are going to be some people we cover here that one group might define as hero, and the other as heretic. We are not seeking to convert you to the beliefs of the people we cover, but we approach each person with respect and do our best to explain what it is that that person believed, why they believed it, and the way that that impacted their life. There might be people we cover that you believe we spend too much time covering, while others you feel we don't cover enough. Whatever side you may find yourself on, we expect you to keep your comments respectful. But once again, we are not asking you to believe everything the person in the video does. So who exactly are these videos for? Well, let me discuss further what informative, accessible, and introduction mean for this channel. Informative. The reason we mention informative is that rather than long documentaries or short blog posts without sources, we seek to find the middle ground of providing scholarly information in easily digestible videos. Accessible. The other key part of our videos is accessibility. Whether you are a student or just interested in learning, it can be very difficult to find informative and credible resources to get you familiar with someone's life and their work. Not everyone can have immediate access to books written a thousand years ago, and even those who do might not have the time to spend reading hundreds of pages just to get an idea of someone's life. Here you will find videos accessible to those in all fields of research and lifestyles. Introductions Finally, the reason for our introductions are twofold. For students or scholars who want to research more, and for those seeking a casual understanding of the life and beliefs of a certain person. First, by providing introductions to students or those in the academic field, this is not designed to be your sole source of research, but to help you get your research started right. Because of this, you will find resources provided to you in the description of each of our videos, both the resources used creating the video and those designated for further research. But these videos are not just for those in the academic field. These videos are also great for those seeking a casual interest in a person's life and beliefs. Not everyone is seeking to write a research paper about someone. Whether you heard about them in Sunday school or just want to know a little bit more about the person who founded your denomination, you will find here a great way to learn without being bogged down by a super detailed analysis of every single part of the person's history. But with that being said, let's move on to defining those time periods mentioned just a minute ago. I want to make it clear that these dates are not specific, but rather are a guide to help distinguish and group people together into certain times and places throughout Christian history to help us better understand the wide aspects of what was going on in these certain eras. The Early Church Sometimes referred to as the Wild West years of Christianity, the time from 0 to 500 CE is often defined by seeking out a foundation upon which to build the Christian faith. The ending year of 500 marks the arbitrary move from creating foundations to growing as an institution. It is in these times that you have some of the most foundational beliefs defined and some of the most influential people to the later church. Notable people in this time include people such as Ignatius, Polycarp, Tertullian, Origen, Antony of Egypt, Clement of Alexandria, Augustine, Pelagius, Arius, Eusebius, Apollinarius, and many more. The Medieval Church Next, we have the Medieval Church, which covers the longest gap of our timeline with 1,000 years of history. 
Because of this, there is a lot covered, with half of the history of Christianity taking place in this category. In this time period, you see the church develop into the institutions we know today. Most notably, you have the split between the East and the Western church becoming a more prominent deal in developing their own theological and structural beliefs that would dictate most of what is happening in this time period. Some notable people from this time period include John of Damascus, Peter Waldo, Benedict of Nursia, Pope Innocent III, John Wycliffe, Thomas Akempis, Bernard of Clairvaux, Pope Gregory I, and many more. Next, we have the Reformation Movement through the Restoration Movement. Two large movements bookended this category. In the beginning, you have the Reformation Movement away from the Catholic faith. This started the wave of new denominations and sought to reform what the Catholic Church had become at this time. Towards the end of this time period, you have the Restoration Movement that also brought on a new wave of denominations that sought to restore the church back to what it was in the time of the early church and specifically what the Bible defined the church as. Some notable people in this time include John Wesley, Martin Luther, Jacob Boehm, George Whitfield, John Calvin, Joseph Smith, Cotton Mather, John Knox, Alexander Campbell, and many more. Finally, we have the last 200 years of development. Because some of the major movements are still unfolding around us, this category is less defined. But starting with modernity, there has been a shift away from traditional forms of Christianity especially within the last few years. Marked with liberation theologies that have sought to bring a voice to those whose voice has traditionally been silenced in the Christian faith. Some notable people of this time include William Booth, Abraham Kuyper, J. Gresham Mason, Karl Barth, Francis Schaeffer, Billy Graham, Rosemary Radford Ruther, James Gustavo Gutierrez, James Cone, Wolfhart Pannenberg, Catherine Bushnell, and many more. So, with all that being said, who would you like us to cover? Anyone that has impacted you in your walk with Christ? Is there anyone you would like to learn some more information about? Let us know in the comments below or through email in our description. We encourage all feedback. But I would like to remind everyone again that this is a community of conversation and exploration without judgment and condemnation. With that being said, check out our videos and let us know who you want to see us cover in the future. Thanks so much for your time and have a wonderful day.